never actually had to do this before. I'll wait until I actually run this too. Nope. I can't even get back in too. Kind of cinematic. Alrighty everybody, welcome to the Bard's House. Today we're going to be playing Elite Dangerous, and as you can see, Azrael finally has a copy of the game. I do, and I'm trying to find a star currently. Again. He hasn't quite gotten used to controlling the game with a uh, joypad yet. Joypad, that's just weird. That's what they're called when it comes to PCs. <laughs> anyway, uh, as you can see, uh, well probably in the opening montage, well not really montage, I had to blow up my Sidewinder because I ran out of fuel. So, as a consolation to that, I went out and bought a, uh, what is this called? A an Adder. Yep. He's got a better ship now and it's it's serving him well. Oh yes, very well. I still have the weak si Sidewinder, but, but my Sidewinder is doing me pretty well though. Don't worry. If you keep exploring, you'll make the credits in no time. Adders are pretty freaking awesome, especially compared to the Sidewinder starting out. And even the Eagle that I bought just wasn't cutting it. It didn't have enough internal modules. This is much better. It wasn't the, the ship for him. No, no. I, I'm, I'm not a fighter. And small little fighter ships like that. Even though this one has some pretty impressive combat capability. And I've actually had to put it to use a couple of times. Yeah, he's actually claimed two bounties now? Oh yeah, one for 30,000, one for 24,000. And that's using my Hotas. Damn it. Fuck, dude. So, pretty much the idea for this episode is I'm going to rendezvous with Azrael and we're going to do something. Try to upgrade my ship. Yeah. Try. Number one, upgrade ships. Yeah, because he started out at LHS 3447, which means that he doesn't have a... Um, good enough jump drive to be able to make it to Allen where my I base of operations is. Oh. Fuck. What did you say? Fuck. Why? I almost ran into a star. Mm. You must be very careful while scooping a star. <laughs> Wasn't scooping, was jumping. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. What? It's a good, what is that? Salvageable wreckage. Oh, by the way, um, Azrael didn't tell you, but I've been doing some surface exploration. Have you? Yeah, I got a uh, cobalt, manganese. I can actually make my own ammo now. Impressive. Yeah. So if I run out of ammo from my multi cannon, I can replenish it myself. And um, you got a self-targeting can uh, gun yet? Yeah, that my multi cannon is gimbaled. Sweet. And I have it set to my secondary fire, so I don't have to fire it at the same time as my pulse lasers. Leave the pulse lasers facing forward and then... Yeah, that's the problem. The pulse lasers are fixed. Um, which is kind of a good thing, because that way I don't have to worry about electronic oh, countermeasures. Oh, that was close. Oh. What happened now? I almost got sucked into the gravity well. Oh, yeah, that happened to me once. Not pretty. Oh, by the way, this thing has a much greater uh, jump range, uh, like 14 light years, I think. Why did I go Scottish? That was weird. Oh no. It's just, it is weird. I want some scotch. 
You want some Scott Manley? <laughs> I don't know. This is that the is. second video that I've mentioned him. You don't even know who he is. Yeah, I have. I think I think you've made me watch a few of his videos before. Okay. Yeah. One of my many inspirations for getting into YouTube. <sighs> you got Markiplier and uh, who else? Pretty much Markiplier. I watched Markiplier videos. Uh, C Nanners. I watch C Nanners more for the fact that it, it's entertaining. See, I watch Scott Manley because not only do you uh, you watch somebody also, play the game, but you also learn something. Yeah. PBS channel. Oh, yeah, PBS Digital Studios. Yeah. I love their learning channel. Right, right. It, it's like the best channel to learn something on. We have seriously gone off the rails. Well, I'm... I'm... Anyway. Yeah, it's... I'm, it takes so long to go anywhere right now for me. Binary system. Well, that's why you're exploring stuff. That's why I'm exploring stuff. By the time I get to LHS 3447, I should have enough discovery data to buy a new uh, power plant. I'm hoping from where I, where I died that time, I can recover the majority of data that I lost. Uh, I'm three jumps out from <laughs> LHS. How far are you? A while. Mm. Well, since this is a binary system, I might as well discover both of them. Dad, you know how to spell minigame? And he was like cruising. Looking for exactly what we're doing. Alright, let's see here. Wow, okay. This is weird. I hate binary systems. And I have more jumps. Nice. Dude, one time I jumped into a system and it was a, a regular red star. And it was being orbited by a white dwarf and a red dwarf. That's cool. Yeah, so you had a red dwarf, a white dwarf, and a brown dwarf all in one. Didn't you fuel scoop from that one? I tried. I don't remember if it worked or not. I think that was like the only time you managed to get like a crap done at once. Well, yeah, well no, no, that was a trinary red system. All three red dwarves. <laughs> Yeah, they were close enough that their uh, fuel scoop chronospheres like intersected, or at least it seemed like they did. I don't know if they actually did or not. Um, I've hit my half fuel limit now. Nice. Hopefully, the fact that my first three jumps were all uh, red stars. Yeah. Red stars, I can I can scoop from right. Yep. Red and white, and some blue ones, but not white dwarfs. We'll see you after the jump. Are you jumping right now? Yep. Oh. Coming out now. How'd you know? Oh, oh shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, fucking. Uh. ZUP. How do I tell what kind of star I'm looking at? What color is it? Uh, kind of whitish blue. Uh, it's either a T Towery or a white dwarf. Oh, it's a T Towery. I'm staring at a white dwarf. It's a T Towery. I mean, T Towery. Yeah, it's a T Towery. Alrighty, this is weird. What? Uh, it's a white dwarf, but it's actually got like um. Oh, hey, Jordan Landing. It's got a red dwarf orbiting really far out. It's actually got a station around it. Let's. Oh wait, this was the star that I got sucked into. I gotta be careful with this one. Remember when Sweet I got shit. sucked into the gravity well? Yeah, it was funny. That, that was funny. not funny. Yeah, you, you had never experienced it, the fear like I have. Dude, I, w I thought I was far enough away from it. That was the sad part. Well, I'm, I'm fortunate enough that I can now refuel at Jordan Landing. What is Jordan Landing? Uh, it's a platform. Oh, okay. What kind of platform is it? Uh, platform. Hmm. Literally. <laughs> it's like my begin the beginning station I started in. Oh, okay. Let's see here. This should be my last jump. LHS 3447. You're at Nez Paliri. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, ooh. Oh. I have 2,000 light seconds. Light seconds? Yeah. Big L a little less. <laughs> yep, light seconds. Yeah, I'm almost to LHS 3447. I have one more jump. 
Well, I have a lot more jumps. <sighs> Seven point six light years. Ultimately, twenty-two more jumps. Twenty-two to get to LHS three four four seven. Yeah, I'm. Oh, that's right. Light. You gotta go through that briar patch of red dwarves again. Yeah. Unless I can upgrade my, I think here. Mm. You might be able to if it has an outfitter. Oh, that's what I'm hoping for. Yeah. I can't believe it. I traveled 66 light years in the space of five, ten minutes. Not even ten minutes. All right. Now, why do I keep going to the right menu? I don't need the right menu for anything. Uh, I'm gonna go to Warledge Terminal. No, I don't want to land in sky. Uh, let's go to Trevithick Dock. That's why I'm at trying to get to. Yeah, I know. 109,000 light years. Oh, great. Oh, yeah, because that's, that's actually orbiting the other star. Yeah, this game's beautiful, but God. It can take a long time to get places. It is interstellar distances we're talking about here. Yeah. I mean, they ain't lying. I mean, that is literally 109,000 times the distance between the Earth and the Moon. But it's so pretty. Oh, I ain't gonna lie. You know the the background stars change depending on where you are in the galaxy, right? Really? Yeah. Ow! Actually, no, no, I did not. Obviously. Yeah, the closer you get to the core, the brighter it gets. <laughs> yeah, someone I know from where I work, they have they they have this game. And they're heading towards the center of the universe. Are they part of the expedition? I have no idea. Well, there's a an expedition going on right now, like the Distant Worlds expedition. It's like 900 people heading towards the center of the galaxy. I don't know if it's just what he wants to do or what. I thought about it. Like once I get a Asp Explorer, I'm probably going to try and do it. Uh, he has a Diamondback. Diamondback Scout. I think so. Yeah. Well, that ain't too much money. I might be able to afford one. I don't know. I mean, I only have 31,000 credits right now. Hey, right now you're broke. Hey, as long as I am have enough credits to pay for my insurance, I'm good. Yeah. Or pay for my rebuy cost if I die. Enable wing beacon. Let's see here. Um, oh, by the way, never, ever, ever, ever turn off flight assist yeah I learned <laughs> from you yeah I was just sitting there outside a station and turned it off didn't touch my sticks at all and I mean within seconds I was like reactively you know pitching and yawing in every direction just to keep it in one spot then it started drifting somehow that was not fun that was not fun at all don't recommend it I'm, I'm not. Right. Me using a controller, I'm definitely not. Yeah. I, I mean, I thought I would have an easy time keeping it under control because, you know, I figured it was like turning your inertial dampers off in uh, Space Engineers, but no, it is much, much worse. Oh, yeah. is this the right dock? Because it's pretty much turning Newtonian physics back on and turning off the whole airplane flight mechanics because it's your thrusters that well, allow you to bank and turn and all that. Yeah, since I'm not getting a fine right now for being in the airspace, I'm assuming if I'm not the right one. Yeah, you don't want to get a loitering fee or a fine. Oh, I finally paid off my debt to the Alvin Warrior Eagles. Did you? Yeah. I was at uh, Alvin Enterprise selling my Eagle, and I was like, okay, might as well pay it off. Yes, I did sell my Eagle. No, you did. And I refocused all the money into this. Let's see if this is the right way. Alright, anyway, we will pick back up recording as soon as I make it to Trevithick, okay? I got a lot of travel time ahead of me. 
Do you? Yeah. We'll be right back. Alrighty, everybody. Sorry about that. I mean, sorry about that. Yeah, sorry about that. And that. We have finally made it to Trevor Thick Talk. You have, I have. Oh, well, yeah, I have. I can't say much about what you're doing, but... I mean, I'm just trying to get there faster, and it's not working right. Watch, I'm going to overshoot it. Crap, I'm going to overshoot it. <laughs> like normal. Uh, I was doing good there for a bit. Where are you? Uh, oh, crap, let's hope I don't hit it. Mm. Almost hit it. That would not have been good. No, it would not have been. All right. <coughs> yeah, I could have made it there and then... The, uh, oh, well. Next jump destination it is to them. Damn it. the hell? I don't know. What the hell? What's going on? It... <clears throat> I keep messing up. How dare you. Alright. Alright. So I made it there in roughly half the time it would have taken you, right? Um... Quarter of the time it would have taken me. Uh, yeah, nine jumps compared to 22. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty big difference. Wow, that was weird. What's up? Just weird. Frame shift drive charging. I'm hungry. I don't know what you were recording. It's rude to our viewers. They hear me gobbling food. Do it. They hear me gobbling food like nom 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 nom. Okay. Well, I guess we could end this. Just like any other episode, right? Oh, uh, it's getting noisy here anyway. A little bit. Alrighty, well, thanks guys for watching. See you guys in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe if you like. I'll see you.